Hi, beautiful people. I hope that you're having an amazing Monday. It's whew, sometimes early in the week. It's crazy, right? So out here we have state no, Coachella Fest going on for two weeks. And the traffic is insane. If you don't know about Coachella Fest, it's like one of the biggest concerts here in the country where people come from all over the world and camp out. It's it's a fun time. I'm looking forward to Stagecoach. Stagecoach is the country version. Hey, Robin, how are you? Stagecoach is the country version of Coachella Fest. Demas, oh, hey, Peppa, how are you? Oh, you guys, so stage, uh, no, Coachella Fest is going on, and I don't think, I'm not into the R&B kind of music, really, so I doubt that I'll be going, but maybe I'll go to Stagecoach because I want to, who knows, grab a couple interviews or something like that, so that's going on out here, and vacation was nice. I needed it. Those are cat. Okay, I kind of know about the cat girl. What is she seeing? Does she sing that song? My hey Harrison, how are you doing? <laughs> I don't know anything about those are cat. Okay, how are you doing, Harrison family? It's good seeing you. I need you to go to Coachella weekend. I don't know. I'm looking forward to stage coach. Y'all know I haven't been to stage coach in so long. The last time I went to stage coach, that bracelet for the weekend was about i think twelve hundred dollars for the vip and it's absolutely worth it it's a lot of fun so you know we'll see we'll see what's going on but i don't know we'll see so you guys listen to buckle bunny who the hell is who are these people i have to write this stuff down buckle bunny well i like that music <laughs> you guys okay so I am so close to my two years in sobriety, all right? May 21st is right around the corner. We did it, y'all. We're close, all right? So I'm pretty excited about that. I'm excited about all the networking and stuff that I've been doing. And it's a country song. Okay, Buckle Bunny. All right, I'll listen to it. I haven't heard of it, but I will. But I'm so close. So I'm excited about that. I have, if I seem hyped up, I am. And uh, yeah, it's not, it, it wasn't, it's not easy, but you know, you just keep going. No matter what you feel like, you just keep going. So that working and all that stuff that I never thought I would do just because, but a routine is really important. So that's been great and exercise. So I got my ballet class in, you know, I do my Pilates and got my collagen water right here and that's it. But I'm excited about that. And if I'm not proud of anything else, I am proud about that. Not in a cocky way, but I'm pretty, I'm pretty excited. So just saying thank y'all for rocking with me for these two years because it's been a lot of ups and downs and stuff. So all right. Uh hey Zero Lightness. How are you doing, member? You said you sure. Yes, I love Tanner. I'm a buckle bunny. Let me look that up. Hey Mulatto. Let me look that up real quick. I'm only I'm doing a quick check on with you guys. I might come live later because I need to go out and get some filming done. Buckle bunny. Here's what I found. Clothing store. I love Buckle. Hold on. I have to look that up. Yes, I love Tanner. I'm a Buckle Bunny. Okay, I have to look all that stuff up. You guys, I had so much fun over this weekend. I was hanging around, so I went to a convention. Well, I went on my vacation. In, in, at the, when I went on my vacation, I was invited to a conference and stuff like that. So I got to meet and network with a lot of people. YouTubers, like famous YouTubers. When I say famous, they had like over a million subscribers. It was like, you know, and, and I got to pick their brain and talk to them about a bunch of stuff, sobriety and everything. They gave me a lot of ideas. I got to meet a lot of basketball players, Lakers and all kinds of things. And I don't know if you guys know who Oz Perlman is. He's a person that was on uh, America, America Got Talent. Um, I don't know. Let me try to. Yeah, this guy. I'm sorry. Not, this guy. Okay. So he's a mentalist and a magician, and he is absolutely amazing. I mean, he will pick people out of the crowd and tell you and ask them, like, who is their first love and write it down, have their first and last name and stuff like that. It was absolutely incredible. So hopefully I can show you guys those videos. But if you get a chance to see him, I'm prom I promise you that's a good show. You'll love it. Hanging out with Cedric and crew and um, 
y'all got to see magic was absolutely amazing that was a bonus i was not really expecting to be able to sit and i mean to be able to talk to him but i got to speak to a lot of people and not only that i got to do my hiking and stuff like that so i had a really good time <laughs> it was it, it was it was great i wasn't even supposed to be in that room with magic johnson but i got in and when i got in i had a lot of questions so it was pretty good y'all Yeah, girl, Bombo. Say hi to Chris. Go babe. Hey, Savi. Hey, S. Hutchison. Let me invite S. Hutchison up. So, you guys, I had fun. I did a lot. Now, speaking of which, let me drop a link for S. Hutchison. Speaking of which, I'm going to drop right in the commentary. So, I'll make a video about that. And if I do go to Stagecoach, I'll tell you guys about that. What's good, Daquan? But I just really needed to unwind. I found myself getting just caught up in some, I, I just needed to unwind, right? Not trying to, oh, thank you. Demon Soul, when are we gonna do our stream? Oh, thank you. Okay, 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 I, I'm familiar with this. Okay, I'll listen to that song when I get out of here. Hey, Evelyn. So I just needed to, I, I just needed to unwind and kind of figure out which direction I was going to go in. Um, trying to take it easy right now with my commentary and try to figure things out. But so, yeah, I took a couple of vacations. Now, if I get fired from all these vacations, it, it is what it is. Um, it, yeah, because I have to still get used to the whole routine with the working thing and all. Give me a second to grab my plate. All right. So that's what it is now, y'all. Have you been to Coachella yet? I don't really do Coachella Fest. Okay, Evelyn. But I do stagecoach because I'm more into country music. So I'm excited about the song that I was sent. But I'm looking forward to stagecoach. Now, what's going to be interesting, the last time I went to stagecoach, VIP gets crazy, you know, because they have all, all you can, you know, the drinks and the, and the food and stuff. I'm not really into alcohol, so I didn't have to worry about that. But it's a really big party scene. But... I would like to go there and film with a completely sober mind. So we'll see what happens. And plus the networking you could do down there would be pretty crazy, right? So anyways, I know that there have been these competitions, y'all. Let me jump in the competition. You guys, these competitions are supposed to be fun, all right? There is so much drama surrounding these competitions, but it gives commentary. Are you guys enjoying? <laughs> right, Mulatto? Yeah, I go hang out with some more celebrities. When you stay in the VIP, you'll be, you're like, like the last time I was in VIP, I was two rows down, and I just wanted to see Darius Rucker, and I got to see Zach Brown Band, and uh, I can't remember who all was in it that year, but it was just totally worth the money, and some people, so the bracelet, the last I checked, I don't know what it is this year, but a lot of people split it because it's like several days, so if it's like $1,200 and it's, or whatever, bring like four, like some people split it amongst four people, uh, since you have an itinerary of who's playing. And you could go and see your favorite artist, so it's whatever. What's good, Mo's Kitchen member? But it's fun. What's good, Pizarro? So let me get into these competitions really quickly, and I'll probably have to come back later because I missed a lot. But I got to see a little bit. Um, the chicken challenge sounded fun. I can fry chicken. These competitions are on the weekend, so I'm having. I'm not really able to join them like I used to, but it sounded fun. I think that um, I was listening to Lady Nika. She had some issues with her family, her father, you guys. And that's when you really, really have to check out. I think she was being generous by apologizing. So if you guys don't know, you know, prayers to Lady Nika. She's a content creator in the, in the beef sector. Okay. And she needed to be with her father. During a competition, so she couldn't judge, she found a replacement judge. Brianna, y'all keep me correct. I have I haven't been around that much. But one thing that was interesting to me was Lady Nika had mentioned white coat syndrome, right? That's where you go to the hospital and the doctors wearing a lab coat give you anxiety. I didn't realize it was a thing. Um, like I've heard of it, but I really didn't know how bad the anxiety can get. It really does get bad. So you need like a family member. So when she said that, I knew immediately that she had to be there for her father because the anxiety makes some people not want to go to a hospital. Okay. A lot of doctors don't wear lab coats anymore. Y'all, y'all, you guys have heard of white coat syndrome. Um, so it really is a thing. 
And the anxiety causes a lot of people to not want to get checked out because as soon as they see that white coat, I kid you not, their blood pressure goes up and sometimes they don't want to, they feel like they can't breathe, they get panicky, etc. So that's what that was about. So she needed to do that. So her apology was very generous. As such as in that you? It's me. Hey Shelly. So she she was she she's right about that. So you guys sometimes you just have to log off and your family has to go first because online is not gonna go anywhere and that's just what it is. So people not liking the judges and things like that. I feel like this. If you enter a competition, you don't some competitions you don't even know who the judges are until the last minute. Okay, so you know, there is that ODS. I did not see it, but I did catch a part of it. And ODS looks like he can cook. I mean, he looked like he was going to down with those wings. So, I mean, I don't know. Le uh, Lovely Love came in third. Okay. Lady Law came in second. Now, didn't Lovely Love and I have a bet where if Lady Law were to beat her, she's supposed to pay me. And if she were to beat Lady Law, I was supposed to pay her, but I haven't heard anything about that. So it is what it is. Pizarro said, Louisiana, red lady. Huh? Find you. Pizarro? What's good, Edgar? I'm doing fine. How are you? What did you? Okay, so I think that the competitions are fun, but it sounds like Pizarro may be taking a break. I don't know. Benzon had her competition. Two competitors. Sheila, you guys already know this stuff. So I'm coming from a different angle. I feel like this. When I come, when I say I'm going to do something, I follow through. I know that she had Sheila, who did a great job. And she also had a, who did she have? A pretty black girl, I believe. Pretty black TV. Pretty black TV. They did amazing. Mm -hmm. But Noble, mm -hmm. when Noble didn't participate, nothing. You know, Noble said he had some stuff going on. So then Christopher couldn't compete. So she ended up with two people. And I don't know, you guys, like maybe if people paid like a deposit or something like that, I don't know. So they wouldn't flake. So that way some competitions do depend on the number of people. So I'm just like, you know, I'm all about showing up. I don't like to flake when I say I'm going to do something. So I'm not quick to commit to something. So, you know, I do believe it's showing up. But Benz did have a great competition. So I'm glad that Pizarro and Benz all both had a successful event. Uh, and it ended up to be fun. Uh, Noble did apologize and things like that, but that's what it is. Yeah, you guys, please hit that like. What's going on? With I was now? saying that one time before. I, I said that one time before that like maybe people need to pay a deposit. Not so much that you want to get money from them, but it's, it's kind of like people only care about what they invest in. And if they haven't put up any money, it's kind of like they don't care. And I've done it where, you know, I started out. Oh, or maybe starting with your own money or whatever. And then people say, oh, I'm all in. And then the day, the time, they're nowhere to be found. I just feel, I mean, I agree with you. I mean, if you're if you're trying to meet a minimum, then you got to do what you got to do. Now that deposit is a deposit. So give it back if they show up. But, uh, or give them a Right, that, that's my whole point. You can give it back once they get there. Uh-huh. So like give a little security back. blanket. I just now what I would have done. This is just me because the show has to go on. I would have just had the three compete against each other, so that way Pittsburgh could have done it. But you know, you live and you learn, and you just I just roll with the punches. Like I get it, but Benz did what she had to do. I just think that let the person know because this isn't the first time somebody has dropped out of a competition, and it's not easy to throw these things. So let the person know, hey, I can't do it. Because, you know, that's 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 my thing. It just, it takes a lot. Well, Shirley, you know, because you put on competition, so you know it's not easy. Oh, it's not easy at all. And no matter what you do, people are going to find something to say, whether it's about the judges, the contestants. You can't please everybody, and it's just one of those things. It's something that I had fun doing. But when all the drama comes up, they take the fun away from it. Uh -huh. When it becomes about, you know what I'm saying? All the money and the, oh, I think this was a setup. It takes away from the organic, you know, having a good time, you know? Do you think, hey, Ness, thank you, beautiful. Appreciate you. 
<laughs> y'all know I'm trying. Oh, I did some shopping. I had to show y'all when I come back. Uh, I do agree. But then do you feel, do you feel that some of it, there's going to be commentary and drama behind it no matter what. So some people, I mean, for me, it's part of the fun, but then it becomes too much when you start talking about doxing and, and the falling out and all that. I don't enjoy that, but the commentary behind the competitions, you know, it's going to, it's going to happen. Right. <laughs> nice. You know, it's going to happen. Now, and, and, and I will say this. You said what? I'm sorry. I just wanted to say this right quick because um, I did hear that. I'm not going to name any names or whatever, but I did hear that the contestant was upset because they didn't, they didn't win or whatever. And for me, this is just me. I'm not going to vote for anybody that's not in the beef sector. And so I guess you could look at that and say, hey, I'm a part of the problem. You know, if there's a competition where it's, it's non-beef sector, then I'm going to pretty much probably vote, you know, on who I think should win. But if I'm if I'm looking at something and I see a whole bunch of people from this area and that that area, I'm going to go with the home team. With that being said, there are some people in another, the, you know, that feel, they feel like that's biased. And I heard, now you have to keep me correct because I, I have not heard, I, I haven't watched this competition myself, just bits and pieces on Red Ball. But our moderator that we have in common had said that she was going to vote for ODS anyway, Soul Sister. I'm not going to do subliminals there. So do you think that creates a problem if that's true that she said that? Going yes. into a competition as a if judge, you know yeah. what you're going to judge for? If you're a judge, that's different. Like I was a judge with transparent talk. I was a judge over there and I was very fair. To me, it didn't care about sectors or this or that because I'm a judge. So it's my duty to be unbiased and whatever. But when she said that she was going to pick him because what was the reason why she picked him again? Something. I mean, I, I voted for him myself. So I'm not saying that I don't want to misquote her. I, yeah. I don't want to misquote her. So yeah, I don't want to, but I was her. torn in between him and King Roman. You know what I mean? I knew I was like, Oh yes. Oh, King Roman. I knew those at least were my top, two i knew that much i have to tell you that i'm a fan of king roman so, so if he's in a competition i am i would lean that way only because of his style of cooking he's clean he's his food is presentable but i didn't see it ods and those mukbangs he kind of has me sold there because the you know and his wings did look good but i didn't see the plating Hmm. I'm going to have to watch the competition. <laughs> I have to watch it. I haven't had time. But I think that we all have our favorites, and it's kind of normal to lean that way. I just do. But now the fallout with him and Bree, I'm like, damn, that, did that have to happen? But, you know, that's B-sector stuff I don't really get into. But I'm just going to be watching on the outside. I don't know. So. Yeah. I mean, they did have. That was Voodoo's first time judging too, right? So it was Voodoo's first time judging? Is it his first time first judging? Time. I thought he judged. Oh, I don't know. Is that his first time? Hey, Ms. Indy. I don't Soul know. Sister, yeah. Rio oh. Butterfly. That was her first time, right? So I think it was the first for those three people. I think that I would have been a good judge. I think I would have been a good judge because. But you said you don't fry chicken. Nah, girl, I don't fry no chicken. But I oven bake. Well, I, I, I think you should know. I, you should know the the what you're what you're judging on. Like if that's your thing, you know, then I don't think you should judge. Be able to judge because we can't taste the food. So I think that you need to see every angle. Like, you know what I mean? Like you know what, what you're I doing, think, how you're okay. doing it. I don't fry chicken myself. But 
I definitely mm -hmm. know what it's supposed to look like. And the reason why I don't fry it is because number one, I think when it's done, I think when the chicken is done, it kind of floats on top of the grease. So it kind of floats, right? That's how you know it's done. So I just don't know if y'all eat my fried chicken, but I definitely know when it would it when it looks good. But I think that somebody who is more into like a vegetarian. Like, now, I'm not a vegetarian, but I just think that I would bring a different angle because I would be looking for, you know, something different. How healthy is this chicken that you just made? Okay, no. Mm -mm. I don't think you need to be the judge. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe you want something else, but not that. Because it's not your thing like i have a friend right it took her, her forever to learn how to fry fish she would put the fish in the grease you know when you gotta get it like right at the right you gotta have that oil hot yeah you know what I'm saying? or else it's kind of like you know what i mean and it's the same thing with chicken so I, I, and like i know mo was saying that uh what's she saying lovely i think she was saying like lovely love had cooked the different pieces i think she had did, did like quarters or whatever and so that does become a little bit more difficult if you're cooking different pieces like if you have a breast a wing versus doing like a whole pan of drumsticks or whatever or wings or whatever because everything needs a, a different amount in it you know what i'm saying it's a different size and all that other stuff so i get yeah, exactly what she's saying you know that in a uh air fryer i have like um uh, one of those ovens like a i what do you call them? The it's like an infrared oven where you can cook from frozen. Like I have one of those, but I just think that uh, that's just too much to think about. I just want to throw that chicken in the oil and let it fry. You know, once the oil is hot enough. But then I start thinking about it. If you oven fry it, so you still I love oven fried chicken, and I think yeah, I don't think that should have been exempt either. It. Yeah, you you so you still fry it a little, but then you put it in the oven, like on a oven on a oven rack, and you let the so you finish cooking it like that, and it drains a lot of the fat. So, you know, I like I like that. Asavi says I love you, but you can't fuck up chicken. Chicken, the chicken has to be a bit crunchy flavorful. Okay, let's talk about something. Let's switch gears a little bit. But okay, I will not be judging y'all chicken competitions, but I do think that overall. Thank you, thank you. Here goes Rodney. Hang on. I'm going to switch gears. And you guys, when I get out of here really quickly, it's because I got to go film. Uh, What's good, Rodney? Hey, y'all. How y'all doing? How you doing? I'm good. Yeah. To, yeah, yeah. Today hey, was, uh, was something. Hey, how you doing, Shelly? Yeah, I'm, a, um, I'm doing good. So, yeah, the, yeah, that was, that was a, did you see Brianna's live, uh, Misunderstood? Would you I, saw, I saw part of it, but I will watch it before I come live again tonight when I do a late stream. Oh, okay. Yeah. Well. But what happened? Give me, give us a recap. We did hear. Oh no, she was just she was just basically, you know, saying, you know, about it's up in the stuck with uh King Roman, you know, it's really no feature, yeah. you know. Um, so and I can understand she had some good points, you know, about you know her commentary and stuff. She really did. So um I was listening, you know, I was you know, in and out, but I, you know, I saw a lot of it. So yeah, it was, it was a good live. Let me yeah. say this. So I did hear her points. I did. I, I was able to hear part of it. And at first I really thought this could blow over. A lot of people don't like to lose, but when I heard her commentary, I'm like, okay, Bree, Bree's full in a certain kind of way. She, if it's a lot to say to somebody, Bree brought up some good points. So how do you not look at both sides like that? And I kind of understand where she's coming from. Right. Yeah. I'm going to try to go live sometime this week, you know, and uh, I want to give commentary on a lot. I want to talk about a, a, a lot of what's going on. Yeah. Right. yeah At first, I thought it was going to be very playful. The way he was talking, when he said, I'm doing my commentary or whatever, and then he says something like, or no, he said, I think he saw her, you doing your commentary. And he said, but on Monday, when I come through with the crew, he like, basically, I'm going to have to get you together. But, I, but to me, I took it more like in not so serious way. But then after today, when I see everything, it's very, very serious. 
Yeah. But when she's played when she played that live stream from BS, keep track of the time. I mean, and he's saying, okay, they don't trust each other and things like that. That was already telling. But my only thing is, why accept the donation money then? Like, what was that about? Hey, Latricia, what's good? You know what I mean? Like, I don't, I don't know. To yeah, say that you felt like it was a setup, I'm not understanding. So maybe truces aren't really truces because there's hard feelings there. I'm not saying that they had a truce, but when people fall out and don't really get along, maybe there's hard, you know? You put yeah, it just some, together, it may not always work out. Yeah, it's just some situations is just not uh, meant to be fixed, I guess. Um, but for, for what I heard, both sides, you know, it's, yeah, it's uh, up in the stuck thing. So it's, it's no fixing that. So it's just best for them to just go on about, you know, they separate ways and, hey, you know, she do her and, and you know, and he do him. So, yeah. Now, Rodney, I'm always That's trying to find pieces. That's the best thing to do. Okay, Shelly, but what about this? Because y'all know I'm always trying to find light at the end of the tunnel. It would if they if they had an honest uh, oh Bree said you don't want a conversation. Never mind. Because I was always thinking, like, if you have a conversation with somebody and you can honestly say how you feel about stuff, then at least you can agree. I think he already expressed how he feels. Even before know, this, like what he said opening at the town hall meeting. Did you hear that? I didn't hear the town hall meeting. <clears throat> Was it recent? That okay, so was very um that was very eye-opening to me. That's when I knew whatever was going on with the two of them, it's deeper than surface okay. level. Okay. Yeah. And I know yeah. that's like, so I'm not gonna try to say, oh, you guys need peace because that always gets turned on me. Like, hey, well, you make peace with so and so, and it absolutely is absolutely not. So sometimes people just need to go their separate ways. You think Bree's feelings are a little hurt, though? I agree, Savi. She said they were. My feelings would be hurt. Now, who was that lady, Rodney? Do you know who that lady was to click the panel? What? Uh, was, uh, no, no, uh, uh, no. I must have missed that part. Okay. I'm gonna have to go. I'm gonna have to watch this and actually take notes. Y'all know I got my handy notebook here, but I just I the competition was interesting. Honestly, I wouldn't even have money the back and forth, but this is like damn. Listening to uh, Key Rowan and Breeze, like damn. Okay, they didn't have a. They weren't, you know, listening to them. I, I mean, they didn't have a friendship, so to speak. But I guess they were cordial, and now they're not cordial. So that's just that's just that's just wow. Yeah. I'll be interested in your commentary on it. Uh, I don't know if Charlie's gonna go live about it, but Rodney, I'll be interested. Yeah, I am, and I'm gonna I'm gonna talk about a whole lot more. Um, you know what's going on. When was that town hall meeting? Was it recent? Because you know I've been gone through the weekend. The town. Oh, you know what? I don't. Um, I say that was like a week ago, Rodney. Or so yeah, I didn't. Did did I ever? Did I see that? Uh, no, I don't think I saw that one. Cause I have been having yeah, a lot they going were on for you, actually. Oh, really? Oh, that think, yeah, I was okay. asking for you to come, but uh, to drop down. But I guess you must have not been there because you didn't drop down. Randy, can I ask yeah. you a question? It's just a friendly question. Okay. What's the fr okay? Go ahead. <laughs> okay. So sometimes, like, they call for you and you don't come, but then when you do drop down, you just want to drop your link and stuff like that. Do you ever read the room? Yeah, I do. And I don't care, uh, misunderstood. I don't care what these people say because at the end of the day, they, um, you know, I don't know these people. I would never meet these people. So now, I'm going to um, tell you this, Rodney. You do your thing. And even when somebody, even when I'm not going to mention your names, but when they're like, hey, Rodney just came here to promote his show. And I know you heard some of that stuff. And it was funny to me because even after that was said, you still did it. It said, no, I'm going to respond to my own channel and stuff like that. Now, I, I do. That. That's okay, go ahead. That shit was hilarious. <laughs> Shelly, that's what I was talking about. I think that that's you, really, even though you, you have this national attitude, I think that that's your way of doing YouTube. You're promoting your channel, and you're going to do what you got to do. 
Well, some well actually, when I went up on uh, Sassy's platform, I didn't realize. You know, I was just basically, oh, I you know, you on Sassy, so I was yeah, I thought I was just, you know, just striking up a general conversation. You know, sometimes you will say things and don't even realize it. So, uh, I wanted to. So, if I offend Sassy in, in any kind of way, then that's not what I was trying to do. You know, I was just trying to, you know, just you know, try to strike up just a general conversation since I want to come up and thank her, you know, that her commentary in her live was uh it was it was a pretty good live. So uh so Jay Dunn so yeah. Yeah, so Jay Dunn got up there and somebody well he just cut in and so I mean I didn't mean it like that, but I guess the way it was perceived that way, but no, um I don't know. But I, I'm gonna have to apologize to Sassy on that because no, that's not what I was trying to do. We need to go live anyway so we can celebrate because you didn't see all the things that's been happening in the last day or two. You're not happy about that. Yeah, this ain't got uh, nothing to do with Miss Anderson. I don't want nobody coming for her. Don't come for her. Come for me because I'm saying it. But see. But see, Shelly, that's what I'm saying. I've been, here. I've been having a lot going on. I've been here. I've been seeing, you know, bits and pieces and stuff like that. So what I was going on because you know they was calling for me and all that. And see, I and see, like I say, I might have been busy at the time because, like I say, I don't have time like that anymore. You know, so. Well, Mega Bus got uh, banned from. Pizarro's channel until June. Oh, I saw that. That was on Pizarro's channel, right? Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Oh, you I mean, that's like you, a whole story. So you didn't see what happened that? on Brianna's channel? Did you see it on Brianna's channel? I, I didn't see her whole live. I seen some. I even oh, the baby, well, she's banned it from there, too. She's banned it from there, too. Somebody paid to ban yeah. her from there. Yeah, I know, that's what I'm saying. Like, Yeah. And I loved every <laughs> minute of it. I went up there and I was kikiing and high hi Yeah, I love it. I okay. I don't. I I don't know what to. I don't know who Megabus is, so I'm gonna leave it like that with y'all codes. Mm, well, but you guys, this banning shit. Let me tell you something. Y'all know how I let me let me show up because y'all know I don't want y'all to know how to. You get know, to it'll this. be different if Megabus went on those platforms here. and and just and and don't stay that long. You see, what I'm saying. But Megabus will go up there and stay forever and don't know how to drop down and don't know and people are tired of that. Tired of look, you know, drop down. No one to Ronnie, drop down. The mega bus, the mega bus be up there like it's a mega bus en route, okay? From Washington, right. DC, all the way up to Boston and into Canada and back. Okay. Right. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I don't know who the hell mega bus is, but whoever this person is, y'all, I it seems like this is some mm, I don't think I should ask. What's good, Brian? No. Eventually you'll find that, but we're not gonna say anything. Eventually you will, but I, you know, okay. but like I say, I I love every minute moment of that. Okay, I think we're lost on that. Yeah, one. it's a lot of people. It's gonna. So I'm gonna go. I'm gonna try to go live sometime this week if I have time, and it's gonna be a lot of people that's gonna be a part of my commentary. A lot of a lot of people. A lot of people. Yeah. Can you give us so. no Rhonda? You know, even though I said what's good, just read my book, just read my book. Can you block me? And there's another person, Wings of Wine, that you, you comment in my comment section a lot, but I think you have me blocked because I can't respond to you. But just read my book. You got me blocked, fool. How you doing? Just read. Good seeing you. Um, oh, that lady been having me blocked, and I ain't did nothing to her, but that's fine. I'm, oh, okay. Okay, I see. Just read my book. Um, y'all know I like her. Let me say, just read my book. Um I think you got me blocked, so I can't respond to you. My comments. Hey, boring second. dog. TMO. <laughs> Listen, but I do okay, have a bone to pick with Rodney. What's up? Rodney, What's you up, know Rodney? Says, over here. Huh? What's up? I was, to, I, I was saying that Rodney, I don't mind him promoting over here. I was just asking a question. But go ahead. Oh, okay. Um. Yeah, Rodney said he's never going to meet up with these people. In in real life, so my thing is, you're not going to meet up with me and misunderstood. May where if the opportunity presents, that's yeah, I, I wouldn't mind doing that. Yeah, that's cool. I wouldn't mind, but I'm just saying, you know, the trolls in the chat, oh, okay. you know, the people that that uh dislike oh, me and stuff, stuff like that. Okay. Yeah, the trolls and all that. I would never meet these people. Um, 
you know, so uh hey, it is what it is. I don't mm -mm. I don't I don't uh they I don't stud them like that. They not they not paying my bills, uh their name is not on my damn paycheck. So hey, damn what they say. Love your Alexis. Yeah. I but I will tell you, every time I watch you now, you you just seem so different. Uh, what you say? Seems so at peace, you know. Do I seem more at peace? No, misunderstood. Oh. She seems more at peace. You know what I'm saying she seems I am so at peace, you guys. I've well, been doing good. more peace. I've been doing my thing now. Shelly, you missed it, but we were, I was doing some shopping. I really need some. So I'm going to do, I might go live and shop y'all because I want to try these clothes out in front of you guys because I'm trying to, I don't know. Y'all know. Uh, wait a minute. Uh, wait a minute. Read, just read my book. I never talked about you, honey. I never talked about uh, just read my book. Oh. When did I talk about I you just read my book? Misunderstood. I can't see your comments in chest. Just read. Um, that's weird. I'll check my list again. And Rodney, I blocked you for your mouth on me yet, not knowing me. Y'all know, just read my book. I ain't never talked about uh, just read my book. Mm. So, but see, Rodney, this is the thing, me, though. Sometimes she blocked me long ago. Talking, she blocked, uh huh. People talking codes. So somebody could have been talking about her and you didn't know it was about her. You get what I'm saying? And you might have been in the oh, amen okay. section or you could have been laughing and didn't know. I mean, I don't know if that's what happened, but I'm just saying sometimes that can happen. See okay, well, well, um, hey, it is what it is. Um, I don't I don't remember, but hey, it is what it is. Maybe, maybe I said that out maybe, later. I mean, I mean, hey, have an I issue with just read my book, right? No, I, I no, I don't have an issue with the lady. I don't. I don't have an yeah, issue with just have read. An issue with you. So maybe that's a mis. Damn, my head's. Close I mean, to but but I mean, if she want to keep me blocked, then that's 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 her. Hmm. What's good, Cam? That's probably. Okay, so you also have Alexis blocked. Uh, just read. Uh, just read. I guess she just blocks when she's not feeling you. Coming through, showing some love. What's good, Cam? Speaking okay, well, of, that's fine. I mean, hey, it is what it is. Well, Rodney's going to give us, uh, for those of you that like Rodney, he's going to come and, and drop his commentary and stuff like that and give y'all a, a recap, I'm, I'm assuming. And his his input, so I'm interested in that. I have not when I unplugged from YouTube, I totally unplugged, so I had to do my own thing. Now there's a lot of things I see my name. People be tagging me. Do y'all realize when you guys tag me, I don't look at that shit if it's negative. Okay, so y'all wasting y'all little at buttons. Please don't at me. If you want me to comment on one of y'all streams like that, comment under my videos because I'm not showing up to anything that I don't know what it's about. You're not putting me in a situation. I don't mind conversations with people. I don't mind going to different channels, but just tagging me ain't going to get me there because if it's negative, I'm telling you guys, I don't watch the shit. I don't watch it. You know what I'm saying, Charlie? That's why I don't check notifications. Yeah, I hate people that's who add, but add, don't. That's so I've been annoying. away. I got people asking me about different things. I'm like, what are you guys talking about? I haven't even been online. So that little app button is not going to get me there. I think we got to be really careful with who we respond to because they'll have you going back and forth with people you don't even know. Okay? No, not interested. Okay, a, uh, KD, that, that's fine. You know, like I say, it's, it is what it is, honey. So I'm not going to even sweat that. Hmm. I got my alarm going off. Yeah, there's a lot going on. These, uh, do you? Let me ask you and Rodney because y'all in the B sector. But do you guys enjoy? Hold on, turn off my alarm. Do you enjoy these competitions and the commentary? After 6 the challenges. No. The challenges. I'm tired of yeah. them. Yeah. They. They. Okay. I, I'm, I'm actually tired teaching. of them. I'm, I'm actually tired of them. I am. You know, it's getting to the point to where. Most of them is turning out to be disastrous, and and actually, I'm tired of them. I am, and they was trying to get me well, to. Uh, no, uh, I'm tired of as well. Yeah, don't don't ask me to join no challenge because I'm not. They was trying to get me to join these challenges, and I'm sitting looking and observing, and every last one of them, almost every last one of them, have turned out to be 
you know, a mess. And I'm just like, no, nah, cap me out. No, mm -mm, nope. Because uh, it's one thing to give your commentary about, you know, the competition, dragging people's food, whatever, whatever. But now it's becoming much more than that. And to me, that shit is stressful. You know, right. especially when it comes to the, okay, we're about to dox you now. People are getting hurt. And it's their, right. fav their favorites are winning. And to me, that's heavy. If I got to carry around your problems and your feelings all day, I'm not interested in that shit. Right, right. So, so it's not just a competition. It's like we all have that feel-good moment. Like, we we're getting along, if not just for this competition. But then all the extra stuff. Now, Benz didn't have that for her challenge. I didn't see that. But uh, the after, the after math what is the word i'm looking for it's crazy i like the non-food challenges okay okay i just think some of it is a lot people and 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 you have to be flexible judges are going to change people are not going to show up you have to be able to roll with it and uh i think it's really profitable for some people so they don't care commentary is commentary but mm, i'm not i don't know it's a little overdone at this point in my opinion I don't mind them in real time. It's the aftermath I don't like. Me either. That's it, most kitchen. Mm -hmm. Right. Mm -hmm. Now, I do have my opinions about stuff that's going on, but I'm gonna give it. I'm gonna give it later. So Shelly's having a meet and greet coming. Uh, wait, can I talk about that, Shelly? You showed it on your community wall, right? Yeah, I showed on okay. my community wall. I also sent you the uh, flyer to your email. Oh, okay, because I'm like, I didn't see it. I didn't see you it. You don't have to use it or anything. I'm just saying if. Okay, I, I, I will show that. She's having a meet and greet. And you guys, I wish I had time to give commentary on this, but I don't. But I'm going to say this. Because I just wanted to do a check with you guys. I felt really, like, thank you, Shelly, for saying, I don't know how I get this repetition of, oh, you can't bring your man around me. And things like that. So this meet and greet, I'm so glad that that um, Shelly's comfortable to meet me because I'm comfortable enough to meet her. And I don't know how I got this other reputation reputation because that is just not me. I have never chased after anybody's guy. I do. I'm very conservative and things like that. And I just think that, you know, I just I'm just glad that she could see through that because that's some BS. And the reasoning behind it is just weird. It's just weird. Now, it's one thing if you're like, hey, you know what? I don't like my guy around any woman, but ain't nobody trying to be around y'all man like that. But if you're friends with somebody and you you happen to be around them, like, you know, it's like, it's it's nothing weird like that. And it never has been. So I just, I just really didn't appreciate that bag trying to be put on me. Like, okay, misunderstood is like this because I'm not. So... That was just that that was just weird. And a lot of people that even make those kind of comments, I don't plan on meeting y'all anyway. So what's the problem? Hmm. But I am excited. <laughs> I am excited. Yeah, I have no I have no problem. Like the last meet and greet that I had, everybody that was there, they met my husband, um, also met my children. And this go around, I don't see where it would be anything different um i'm not the type of person that's insecure or whatever like that or i'm 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 feeling some type of way like i'm very i'm i'm very much breezy and i'm not worried about no other woman whether it be mu or any other lady you know so you know we're gonna have fun we're gonna have a good time and like i saw her she wants to bring you know her man she's more than welcome to do that you know what i'm saying it's it's open to all and to any you know that it's going to be exciting and i am going to share that on my community wall i just read my book i appreciate that because oh alexis thank you so much my friend thank you i i just you know you get tired of people lying on you because when i ask you guys and i saw some of the stuff that's putting in a chat that was put up put in a chat while i was away on vacation i chose not to respond to it and i'm not going to highlight it now but you don't see me and you ha you have nothing to say. Hey, I was with so and so or whatever. I just I just don't like that. Here I am. I'm not going backwards. I'm going forward. And whatever you know, I used to do or whatever. That was a long time ago. But one thing I don't do is interfere with people's relationships, you guys. And I don't even need to preach all that. That's some dead commentary right there. But I'm gonna say this. As far as the meet and greet goes. Uh, it's nice to get together, have dinner, break bread. I love 
a good meal, all right? Seafood girl right here. And it, it sounds exciting. So, you know, that's definitely a win. I just read. Mm -hmm. So I'm excited about that. Oh, okay. Thank you, Alexis. Yeah, Rodney. And you know for seafood, you're in the right place, so... Yeah, I just, uh, you know, with that place, I love their crab legs. I love seafood. I love it. Right? They have the best king You know, I'm not a fan of crab legs. Oh, I love them. Like, I'll eat the leg off of a crab, but as far as, like, just having crab legs, I've never been pressed about that. Um, I have a friend. Really? She loves crab legs. She likes the Dungeness um, crab legs. But... To me, it's just, it feels like it's just not the same. The crab legs? I've never really been. Yeah, like I've crab legs or crabs. I heard they just had the crabs. Give me a, lot, a good lobster tail and some crab legs and shrimp, and I just love seafood. What's good, buddy? Lee, I haven't seen you around here. How you doing? Mm. You did a good job with, with Ben's competition, I must say. I like miso seafood too, but if I were to eat a steak, Ruth Chris would be the place I would eat it. But I can't, I I can't see myself eating it. But crab legs, stuff like that, some sparkling water, I'm good. Yeah, right, right, yeah. I love it. Mm -hmm. You guys, um, so that's that's coming up, and I don't know why I started to think about. The anxiety. I see up at his moderator in the chat. What? I see up at his moderator in the chat. Who's her moderator? Sweet one. Oh, hey, sweet one. <laughs> yeah, you did a good job, buddy Lee. Buddy Lee, you know I'm coming up on my two years. You gonna help me celebrate? <laughs> like I don't know. I don't know what I'm gonna do for my two years. To my two years um, birth date or sobriety date, but uh, I need to do something. I don't know. So you have a problem with sweet one? No, uh-uh, no, uh-uh. Oh, you like sweet one? Hey, uppity, uh, no. uppity, I'm glad you mentioned her. Let me talk. Uppity, um, what's going on with her? And that, I like, I like me some uppity. I really do. Uh, you I know, like I always uppity. tell uppity that I like her for her bubbly, uh, cheerful attitude, and she always have that. You know, that's what I always like about of it, uppity. You know, um, she hit my panel a few times on my lives. Let me know, buddy. We could plan. I, thought, I know a lot of people didn't like it, but let me know, buddy. I have a cheap date, but I'll chow down on some steak. I am a cheap date. Yeah, steak is good. I like uppity. I'm not sure what's going on, but let me say this. Uppity and, and several other people in the sector have made me thought think more about kids with autism. It would be nice to see. I mean, I think if you're gonna have your child on camera and going through and letting us see how you parent. Uh, that's difficult unless your channel is about, you know, raising an autistic child and you can really showcase some of their strengths and stuff like that. Other than that, they're subject to being ridiculed. Well, we know kids with autism are really special. There's uh, some of them are savants where they're like geniuses pretty much. And that's an interesting life. And you can make your whole channel surrounded by that because the stressful thing, would I let you guys hear CPS calls and stuff like that? Absolutely not. Because I don't feel that you're in, this is my opinion. I don't feel that you're in a sector that can handle that. I think that you put your child up to be ridiculed. And knowing that in the sector, I know that when my kids are on camera, they're up for, you know, people are going to pick them apart. And I just think that's something to, to keep in mind. Yeah, that's true. These people, you got some crude people in this B sector, you know, so. And um, after kids, I don't think it's right. I think that that's something that's becoming normal and or we're becoming desensitized but those kids didn't do a damn thing to anybody and i just think it's tasteless right right that's yeah. true that is so but true I she's doing okay up he grew on me and we could we go back and forth i don't always agree with some of the shit she says right but i think overall she's just doing her thing and it's and, and she's she's being a mom and doing what she's got to do I love her confidence. 
Right, like right, her. right. This competition, I don't care what anybody says. To me, she rocked out, and I, I just, I like me so up Mm-hmm. Oh, she got huge confidence, and you know, and and that's what I like about her. She just, she just so funny to me. Mm-hmm. You know, she always got this cheerful uh, attitude and stuff. So, mm-hmm. uh, so that's what I like about her. But I don't care what they say about her. But yeah, she might have her flaws, and they didn't dox her on this and that, you know. But you know, but like I say, I don't have no problem with uppity. I like uppity. Um, I think me and uppity, we had words. I think one time. Um, but we got past that quick, you know. So, like I say, um, you know, she's cool. The thing, Rodney, that I okay, so like you said, you got into it one time. I can y'all see, I get into it with people one time. I don't mind that. It's the ongoing thing that I'm not about to do with you. I'm not about to fight with you for months at a time. I'm not about to fight with you. Uh, and then once it goes beyond a back and forth or being angry, I'm not interested. You can't engage me in any type of conversation. Now, I know there's been people, I forget, hey, Tesla, I've forgiven more than once, but those days are gone. Mm-hmm. My pet peeve is when you lie on me. When you lie on me, we really don't have anything to talk oh, about. Yeah, and uh, I can exactly, be cordial if we're on a, a, a neutral or whatever platform or whatever. But as far as me ever engaging with that person on that level, once you lied on me, no, no, no. no Your uh-uh. better bet is to try to correct the lie and then right. maybe we could have a conversation. But lie on me, right. no. Exactly. Especially right. Right. These it's up and it's stuck at that point. Stuff. And there's several people in this uh in this B sector I will never be cool with because number one, you fucking lied on me. One um and you know, and and I can't stand a liar. Don't fucking lie on me. And I would never be cool with these people ever. We will we will forever be uh opposition's enemies. Mm-hmm. We will. And I meant that. Bitch, until you come forward and say you uh that and admit that you like that, we have nothing to discuss ever. I don't believe you. And I guess I had to get to that point. It took me a while because I'm always trying to get people to end it, the benefit of the doubt. But that's why I'm just not interested in so many people anymore because they'll take you through some bullshit. And I'm just, I'm not interested. A lot of people I wish I just never would have met, never would have came across. And I wish they would have just stayed away from me it's because these people don't mean you any, any, they don't mean you well. They, if they see a dollar sign on you or you could be so commentary, that's all that you'll ever be to them. And that's mm-hmm. just what it is. Now, all people right. that now people that I have gotten into it with and we made up, but the ones that have lied and you know and and stuck with that damn lie, we'll for no, we we'll forever have a problem. Mm-hmm. I hear you just read my book, and that's how it has to be. You have to protect yourself because they don't mean you any. Oh, they don't mean they just don't mean you well. And I know. Rodney, you've been in situations, Shelly has been in situations, and it just, when you're light on and people just go with it because they want to believe a lie over the truth, that shit is, is, yeah, it's like, what's that about? You can come with all the receipts, and they don't ask for receipts when it's juicy, when it's something they want to believe. They were wrong with it. I was just about to say that. How about the people who always are giving out news and information, and they don't ever have any evidence, no receipts to back it up. All they have is random witnesses to go along with their lie. Mm-hmm. Right. One in particular is, is yeah, you know, whatever about that one. She's not around, but I, uh, I, I just lost, you know, there's only so much, and think about this, you know, if you want to grow your channel, if you want to network and stuff like that, People outside of the sectors aren't really going to be interested in. You're only going to grow so much with that kind of commentary. I mean, your lies are only going to take you so far. People are not really going to be interested as a whole. Yes, your sector will be. But outside of that, when they're looking in and things aren't making sense, they're not going to just go along with it. Like, I, they're, they're not. They're going to see through the BS. So I just, I'm not interested. I don't trust anyone who always needs a witness. Exactly, just read. Just re. But, you know, I have a bitter taste in my mouth from a lot of things. So, yeah. I love my 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 space now. And there's not too much that I'm going to let slide by me. All right? 
and more. <sighs> well, that's good, Emily. It seemed like but, you out and about it, enjoying yourself, and I see you doing your little short videos and stuff like that. So that's good, you know. So I'm, yeah, I yeah, mean, there's a lot. There's just a lot of things that I'm just really careful about, especially who I share my space and my time with. And this just for me, just from my head, so I can stay on track. You know, it's I, I love going out and I think that I'm just kind of trying to show people like, hey, you know what? Sometimes you gotta log off because you'll always be in the middle of mess. Now, I'm not talking about you guys sector, that's your commentary, but for me it's it's just gotten dark sometimes and I'm not going back to that dark place for any dead body. Because they'll try to take you there. Mm -mm. Right, so doing right, my thing. right, exactly. Well, that's good. That's good. That's that's good to hear. I think yeah. too much of anything is a bad thing, you know what I'm saying? So, you have to I limit agree. everything and have some type of limitations, right? What is that you're drinking? <laughs> that's, that's, <laughs> that's, that's just oh, that's uh, collagen. Oh, it's collagen water. Uh, it's just water. It's, oh, okay. it's well for recyclable reasons. I do like water in um, you know, it's just water in a in the carton. I call it, yeah, in the carton. Wow. Yeah, it's just water. Hmm. It's better for the earth. Okay. So what's the difference between water that collagen? Is that collagen water got more like minerals and? Oh, collagen! Uh, I add to it. Do I? I, I don't have it. Up, so I add collagen. I oh, like to okay. add it myself so I know how much is in it. Or some people buy the packs, but I just take two. I, I moved it up to two and a half teaspoons, but the package will tell you, or the box will tell you two teaspoons. So I just add that to regular water. You can add it to a smoothie if you don't like the taste, because it definitely has like a slight taste. Mm, so I just add it. I recommend collagen for everybody if you can tolerate it. Yeah, Do you see this water is amazing? This one I got from the uh I bought a I got a whole bunch of them from Laguna Cliffs, but um water in a carton is it's it's good. Mm -hmm. I gotta try it. <laughs> All right, you guys. I'm gonna uh get out here. Y'all got final thoughts for me? I'm gonna go film and then I got Oh no, I just came up here to I just came up here to shoot the sheets with you. I'm finna go ahead and drop down. Thank you for having me, MU. Thank you, Rodney. And when you go live, give me a heads up and I'll share that live, okay? You can just put okay, it in the video and I'll share it. All right. All right. Bye. It was good talking to you, Rodney. Okay. And uh, likewise, MU, it was wonderful talking to you, girl. The collagen is collagening and everything. And to everybody in the chat, because I'm not down there, I hope you guys have a fantastic you. night. And I'll see y'all out here in these streets. Thank you, Shelly. And I will look for that flyer so I can share that on my community wall. Okay, I can send it to your phone too. I'll do that. Okay, I can share it faster that way. Okay. All right, I appreciate you. Big hugs. You guys, if you're not subscribed to S. Hutchinson, go over there and subscribe. Subscribe to Rodney. If I said tablespoons, I meant teaspoons, two teaspoons of collagen. That'd be about right. Some of the collagen, some of it has like the, uh, has a scoop in it already. So if it doesn't have a scoop, it's two teaspoons. And it's good for your muscles. It's great for your skin. And I swear by it. I'm telling you, it takes about two weeks for you to really maybe notice a difference. But it just, it it helps me do the Pilates and stuff. And as you get older, you know, you produce less collagen. So I, I just swear by it. I, I, yeah, all of my friends, you know, we all do the same thing with the collagen and stuff like that. I love you guys. Um, Thank you all for hanging out with me. Feel free to like, comment, and share. Just read says most kitchen home. I'll look at y'all comments later. So, so I'm gonna go and get some filming in and spend some time with my son. And I will talk to you guys later. I love you guys and thank y'all for hanging out with me. Bye bye. Oh, Alexis, thank you for the memberships, my friend. Talk to y'all soon. Bye bye. <laughs>